What's up, Lazy Gang? It's Lazy Beatmaking. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the splash screen and the startup sound of your own FL Studio. Whenever you decide to fire up your stock FL Studio, this is what you get. You double click, you get this splash screen, and then this sound. First of all, as you can see, I've already changed the background image, which is the easiest part. Just go to View, Background, Set Image Wallpaper, and this will prompt you, and you can just click your own custom image. So to further customize your FL Studio, it gets a little bit trickier, and uh, I found out this kind of hack. In this particular resource folder, I'll be posting the link in the description so you can open it directly. The first thing I suggest you guys do is just select all with uh, Ctrl A, then Ctrl C, and uh, create a new folder with the original backup. So you can have all your original files in here, just in case, you know. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much replace these two, these two files with our own customized splash screen and star sound. Usually the star sound is pretty much your B tag and um, the, the title, the splash screen is uh, your, your logo, whatever. So in order to make sure that we actually um, change everything successfully, the best thing to do is probably opening this up in um, whatever program you have, like Photoshop or whatever. And as we can see, there is the transparent background to keep things simple, I'll just drop my own logo in here and just hide the initial uh, title and make sure that the logo is on a transparent background and to do that you can pretty much just select the background and cancel it out and uh, just make sure that uh, you actually save this as a PNG so that it has uh, the transparent background and then once you're done you can just call it title .png. There we go. Then you can just drag it in. And you just replace. You, you have to make sure that this happens. And that's why it's called exactly title.png. The files need to be called exactly the same and have the same extensions in order for the program to just, you know, go as it normally does. But playing your stuff. So we just replace that, and as you can see, this is now mine. Right now my tag is an MP3 format or a WAV format, and uh, you can just go online and like, um, I'll write the, down in the description a link to an online converter, and uh, you can just pretty much uh, convert this file into a WV file extension, which, is, uh, which will then match exactly this one. So once you have downloaded your file back from the online converter and uh, you have it in a .wv extension, you can just rename it to match exactly the same name. Start SND. And you can just drop it in the folder. This will actually be replaced. And, and just like that, you have your own custom looking and sounding FL Studio. Let's check it out right away and I'm actually show you what the final result looks like. Here it is. Dude, that's balls, man. Let me know in the comments if you wanna, if you want some other tips or if you wanna know something else that maybe it's been bugging you or whatever. Just drop me a comment and I'll get right to it. I'm out. Let go.